guys. Welcome back to this session. Um, thanks for the likes and subscription in the previous sessions we had. And in this session, uh, we're going to be looking at some other tags we have in HTML. And just to make a brief reference to what we did um, in the last session, we spoke about some formatting tags used for formatting text, such as the B tag, the strong tag, uh, subset, superset, and all of that. And we also spoke about um, how you can set up your CSS um, in both HTML and you know having your own CSS file uh, connected to the HTML um, file. So, uh, for example, we spoke about the inline styling for the CSS, the internal styling, and also the external styling for um, linking up the HTML and the CSS file together. And also we spoke about um, links, that's the anchor tag, and we also saw how you can embed an image into an anchor tag so that whenever you click on a particular image, it, it takes you to another page entirely. So that's that for the previous session, and you can also check it out if, you're, if you haven't seen it or if you haven't um, had that session. So in this session, we're going to be talking about um, nesting tags. I'm pretty sure you've seen uh, nesting tags, but you just might not know what it's called. So I'm going to create a, a folder here. Um, let's just call it intro. Intro to HTML3. Right. And in this folder, I'm going, to, I'm going to create some files. And in this folder, I'm just going to have my index.html file. And another way to create an HTML file, instead of you just typing HTML, you can just have HTM. So that's another way, kind of like a shortcut or something. I don't see that as a shortcut though. But so here, we're just going to have our index.css, right? And let's just create um, a JS file as well. I'm going to call this script, or let's just call it index.js file. This is for the JavaScript, but we haven't gotten there yet. So um, let's talk about the HTML for now, and let's create the boilerplate we have been creating. So remember how to create a boilerplate. Just um, click on, hold down your shift key and click on this, um, the one that has um, the exclamation mark. So here we have the boilerplate. Um, I guess the next thing is, uh, let's look at uh, what nest, nested uh, tags are. Okay, um, as you can see, the HTML tag, uh, yeah, the HTML tag that has the lang attribute also has a closing tag, right? So when you look at this, um, the head tag and the body tag are inside of this HTML tag, right? So this is what we call nesting. And if you look at this again, um, we have the head tag. We have some other child um, components inside our head tag. We have the meta and we also have the title. So even when we link up, um, when we link up our CSS file, that's the index.css. As you can see, we've nested. Um, another tag inside this add tag. So this is what our uh, nesting of tags is, is all about. So um, in the next thing now, we'll be talking about um, tables. So um, we're, we're gonna see how tables are being um, designed or created in HTML. So now let's talk about the table. So how do we create table in HTML? So we create table using the, the table tag okay so, so now in this table tag we're going to have um, some other um, nested tags and the first one is going to be the table head okay so as you can see i've nested a t head tag inside our table tag right so now the other one is going to be the t body the t body okay so as you can see um in html in here we have the head and we also have the body, right? So in table as well, we also have the head tag, the head, uh, the T head rather, and we also have the T body. But the difference between this T head and this head here is that the T head is inside the body tag, okay? 
is so obvious. So um, this is going to be visible, and this um, we use the TF to describe the kind of data or information we want to, you know, put on our web page. So the next tag is going to be the T row. Okay. So for um, for every data you want to provide, you must always have the T row. So the T row represents the table row, right? So in here, for the header, we cannot have TH, which means the, the, T, the TL itself, that is the, the data you want to provide, that's the description of the data you want to provide. So in this T row, in this particular row now, we're going to have, um, let's say, SN, okay? And I'm just going to duplicate this like twice, or three times, okay? So the second one is going to be your first name. Make this capital and and this is going to be your last name. Okay, so now let's check our browser and see what's happening. Okay, as you can see, we have SN, we have first name, and we also have the last name, right? So let's do the same for the T body. So in the T body, we need another row, right? So we have T row, and in this T row, we're gonna have um, the TD, which is the table data. So we have TD, and I'm going to give this here number one, duplicate this, and also uh, populate the other TD. So the, for the first name, for the first name, I'm going to have AG, and for the last name I'm going to have at the end. Okay, now I'm going to create another T row so you see the functionality of the T row. So uh, I'm going to have TD as for the second one, that's your number two, and I'm just going to give this um, Michael, Michael Jordan, <laughs> Jordan, okay. Now let's have another one as a T, T row again and have um, a TD for Janet, no, okay, serial so number three first and um, let's just say second, second, Samson, okay, so now let's see um, the result here. So as you can see in the browser, we have a table. We have the serial number, we have the first name, and we also have the last name. So as you can see, the table head represents the description of the data we want to present, right? And these are the, this is a table row. Okay, for example, for the first one, we have a table row here. That's for the T head. We also have a table row for the first uh, TDs, and another table row, then we have another table row. So, um, so this isn't perfect, right? Now let's try styling this with um, CSS. So let's look at um, styling this in CSS. So we're going to do the external styling. And first of all, I'm going to style the table. And I'm just going to give it a border of one pixel solid black. Okay. So when we look at the browser, we see the results. So we have a border, right? And when we go back, let's start the table head and the table data now, right? So in here, I'm just going to say um, we want to have a border as well. A border of one pixel solid black. So let's see. Hmm. Okay. So what's the problem? Okay, here I'm supposed to have a comma here. So um, TD, no, TH comma, right? So, okay, right. So we have this. This is actually a good one. Um, it's It looks really nice. So let's just add a width to this guy here. And let's give it like 30% and see what's up. So it's actually bigger, right? So now, um, let's have a text align as well. Text align should be center, so everything stays in the middle. So um, I don't know. This is actually a good styling.
but what if we just want to have you know a single line instead of having um each each uh tag or instead of having each tag having its own um its own border so we're just going going to collapse this so we're gonna say border collapse it is collapse so let's see so we have the result so if you notice while building our table we made use of some tags like the ta and its body so we can actually do this without these tags so all we just need is the t um the t rows so i'm just going to bring this guy out um, i'm going to cut this guy so just i like this guy here and do the same here so i'm going to cut this guy out and remove the t head and the t body so i can just paste in the t rows right so um when we look into the browser we still have the same result but most of the time i prefer having the t head and the t body because it helps it helps me to differentiate um the header from the data so it helps me to differentiate what describes the data from the data itself so this is actually uh, the best way I recommend this though having the T head and the T body all right okay so another thing I would like us to look into is this we've been talking about T rows right now what about the T colons yeah so um, the TH represents the T colons if we go back to our browser now here we have SN we have TH for SN first name and last name so T SN represents this colon this first name th represents this colon and the last name also represents this colon so if we go back to our html we have all these tags here th 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 so they represent each colon a data is in okay so now um let's say i now want to resize a particular colon i wouldn't put my my styling into any of these td right all i'm going to do is just take a particular colon or rather take a particular colon here and just give it the styling and i can just do this style or let's say um i want to give it a width of probably like 20 percent let's look at this so if you notice i don't know if you notice any changes here so let's just make it 40 percent then okay Mm, okay still no change why is that um with style th let's see css inline should not be used move style to an external css file okay now as you can see here um we are being warned that we shouldn't use um inline styling in any of the i think in any of the of the of the tags related to a table so now we can actually take our styling to the external file which we have here that's the index.css but remember we need a way to identify this particular column so we can either use we can either do that with the id tag or with the class tag but i would prefer an id because you know it is specific to this particular colon or tag so i'm just going to give this size and when i come here i'm going to have my hash remember to represent to get or to to select a particular tag using an id attribute you must use the hash the hash symbol or sign so here i'm just going to have size and I'm going to give it a width of let's say um, 40 percent so let's see the result okay so do we have anything or uh, instead of doing that let's just reduce this let's reduce this to 10 as you can see it has changed right so it has shrinked now let's say I want to increase let, let me increase this to like 50 okay we have 50 
then let me increase the width of this to let's say 40 oh no 40 is fine not 400 so let's say we want to increase it to 50 as you can see it's increasing to 60 to 70 and it keeps increasing so all you need to do if you want to resize a particular colon all you need to do is get the the t head tag look for the specific one you want to to resize give it an id or a class if you prefer a class then just go to the external css file and just apply your styling there so another thing we can do here is um let me reduce this to probably like 30 okay i guess 30 is fine or instead okay I, we actually don't need this though but let's just leave it there so now let me say let's say i want to style um a let's say i want to style the rows let's say i want to give it a color or something so remember we have rows right so i can easily say um i can easily easily say tr and or let's say okay i think it's actually end child or something end child okay so i'm going to call this um even so i want to only style the even the even rows well what i mean by even is this if you notice this first colon represents one this second colon represents two which is even the third one represents three which is odd and the fourth is it yeah and the fourth row the fourth one represents even because that's the fourth row so let's just give it um a background a background color or just background i can give it let's say gray or let's say green okay and when we give it green let's give it a color for the text and let's give this white so let's see the results here hmm okay t rows so i'm getting even for this okay um let's let's make it odd then let's make it odd so that we would have okay okay i think i get it now so to do this we need to get um the t body first and uh, yeah so this is perfect so this is how we do the styling so this this looks good you know um i'll be showing you how to how to style with css when we get to css but right now we're just focusing on the html and we are partly using css to make sense of it so so in this session for the final part let's talk about um a different tag not related to tables and it is called listing so in in html to list um to have a list of items we make use of um some tags and they they had uh, we have the the u hell and we also have the o hell so the the u hell represents on ordered list while the o hell represents uh, the ordered list so first of all we're going to have the u hell and let's say we want to have a list of a list of players so i'm just going to name few because um <laughs> no, no reasons anyway so um we're going to have another uh listed another nested link inside of this url and it's going to be the li so the li represents list right so inside here i'm going to mention mercy and the second one i'm probably going to mention ronaldo um i think this guy here mbappe 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 i don't know is that how to spell mbappe um let's mention um um who else Pele. okay so let's look at the browser as you can see this is on ordered list so so yeah so this is the this is what the on ordered list looks like so let's look at the ordered list now 
so let's say we have u no o l now inside of this o l we're gonna have um let's just repeat the same thing messi uh, ronaldo ronaldo um uh, mbappe um and let's have pele as well okay so you can see the difference so the ordered list is ordered by numbers but the unordered list is not it is ordered by not actually ordered but it is it is represented by by cause these things called i think they are called um ribbons yeah so we have this ribbon here yeah we have all these ribbons here so this is what um listing looks like in html i'm very sure you've seen this so i think there are other ways to to style this so let me use the ul let's go into css ul so in here i'm just going to say i think it's called list styling or something yeah list style type so here we have the bits so this is the default one bits so let's change this to something else i think we should have the armenian and uh, let's see oh wow okay this is cool let's change it to something else um let's say we have cycle all right uh -huh. okay this is cool let's have something else is it decimal yeah so that's just the normal ordered list so let's see do we have any other one um georgian okay so that's enough so um we've come to the end of this session and i hope you guys really got something from this and if you are having trouble understanding any of these things just make sure you drop a comment so i can address or talk about them again so thank you very much and i would like you to like and click on the subscribe button and see you in the next section